obviously the fame, and this is the fame is just going to have the tiller, it's not going to have the wheel. Uh, but the tiller is pretty large on this and it's really hard to operate, so uh, the pulley system with the wheel makes it a lot easier to move. And it's obviously not like in the movies where you just see the captain go like this and the wheel just goes like this. <laughs> it's not possible. And the captain isn't the one steering the vessel, like in all the movies, just stand there. He would have no other time to do anything else but steer because you need to keep someone, you can't drive a car and not be driving the car. So um, you have the guys in charge of just a couple, they have a four hour shift where their job is to stand here at the side, look out at the front and just sort of shout out command. There'll be, there'll be a guy out there who's shouting out commands where to go. He's shouting back. job is really just to make sure they're they're going in the right direction um, very important job if you mess up you're in big trouble because if you were going four hours in the wrong direction that's gonna set the whole course wrong so you have to make sure that you're um, you know your bearings also um, from the top of the mast the decks about 106 feet you want to send the youngest guys up the smallest guys because when you get up there it's really narrow those ladders aren't very large um, if they were, if they end up falling to the deck, they're probably not going to make it. Especially if you break an arm or a leg. There's really not usually a doctor on board here. On Navy vessels, I know like you were saying on the Constitution, um, they're going to hire doctors. They're going to have really good doctors. On this ship, it's not really important for the merchant to hire a doctor. It's extra money. So if someone gets sick, something happens, you give them some sort of medicine and usually it'll kill them before it makes them better. <laughs> you can always pick up other crew in other ports. Um, uh, for merchant vessels, so... <laughs> so they were expendable. Expendable. <laughs> Very expendable, especially if someone fell overboard, it takes about a half a mile for the ship to turn around. Just so, like, yeah, also in my view, when you're talking about free trade and sailors' rights in New England, and they're not all excited about it, it's this idea of expendability. Like, like it's the cost of doing business impressment, to a certain extent. Yep. So, like I was saying, half a mile to turn around. So, if I hard it to starboard or hard it to port, it's going to take a good half a mile, maybe almost an hour for it to really do a good turnaround. So if you fall overboard and you can stay afloat in the water for an hour in the clothing they're wearing, that's great. But most of the time these guys don't know how to swim. It's really not a necessity. They don't have leisure time to learn how to do those things. You fall in the water, it's goodbye, and you keep going. Um, so that was another rough step. Anyone want to try the wheel? Sure. Come on, y'all want to try the wheel. I know someone wants to try it. <laughs>